MC and welcome to the public car park of the Max Power Reunion and this is going to be a proper whistle stop tour, I don't even know what that means, but a quick look around the Max Power Reunion because that is coming back as are Neon's t-shirts available here because I'm in a bit of a rush, there's music playing as well so that's going to be difficult to work with but I want to show you what we are bringing back. A lot of these Max Power creations from the 90s have returned and there's even a TBR Chimera parked in the public car park next to the AirTech Focus ST but some of the builds we're going to see today are going to be incredible so let's go inside and see what we can film oh you can tell the vibe it's very 90s in there beyond the gate i can see lambo doors and i bet they're not on lamborghinis we have the max power astra right to the front it's quite windy let's try and block that there we go i've blocked the wind take a look at these bmw 3 series they're both e30s and very different styles to each other very colorful i'm loving the look of this one with the the winking face i'm sure that means something on the side we've got turquoise and and pink on the E30. That is proper. Wide Arches 2. Here is the classic Meguiar's branded Max Power Astra creation with the seats that face the wrong way because there's a PlayStation 2 in there. I actually had a go at that. I didn't do very well, but that is proper too. Because that is just as outstanding as its twin next to it with side pipes. He's white we in the world. It's going to be tough recognizing some of the cars. I mean, that's a Peugeot 206. This is something else. Those wheels are something else. Ah, it's a Corsa, of course it is. Nissan 350Z with a girl on the side. That is Susan Smith. <laughs> A mini with Lambo doors, or a Lambo with a mini body kit, another mini next door. Another alarm that's going off, but silently on the Texaco Focus. Got the Ford Escort that once was Imperial Blue, you can tell by the engine bay, but now it's white. I'm liking the wide-bodied E46 over there. The Skoda is trying to fit in with the scene. It's got the spoiler and Monte Carlo Rally stickers around it. And take a look at this chrome Fiesta, doesn't that stand out? This is like a modern interpretation of the classic Max Power scene, because back then, they didn't really have wraps, especially chrome wraps like this. Back then, we had smoothed rear ends like on the Punto and the Saxo. That is what it's all about. I am loving these two creations. This one seems to be only recently discovered. It's kind of hanging a little bit, but maybe once cleaned up, this is what we're trying to bring back. Vents that don't vent and an arches that don't arch. Headlights on the Punto 2, and I'm also one thing that goes well with this scene. We've got vapes on show, that's very fitting. I'm liking the Suzuki there, bit of a K car air rides that wasn't part of the scene, it was more static rides. I presume this Subaru is on air ride too. Part next to a prop, here we go, a Renault 5, the first one we've seen so far. Blue with various yellow details on the front. The interior is like a children's playbook. Take a look at that. Next to the Skoda Ute, we've got an R34 four door looking really clean. Beyond, I've just found quite a unique exit of the exhaust. On that S14, it's just a random part of the bumper. It's like, yeah, why not put it up there? It's like 30 centimeters higher than it should be. It's directed, it's out both ends. So it's twin pipes and they go out there and there. Here we go though, two-tone Ford Escorts, turquoise and blue. We've got the grills on the bonnet and a vent that does vent, a little snorkel out of there next to a Golf GTI, but I'm loving those side skirts. When I was a kid, if I was to draw a modified car this is pretty much how it would look with the largest exhaust that you could draw the largest bumpers splitters spoilers and the most colorful from all my crayon sets even though the steering wheel's green the saxo's trying to revitalize the whole max power era of this new bumper and also on the front there's another bumper yeah there you go work in progress he is making a max power creation but you now join me at the tic tac section these cars obviously weren't around during max power but brussels sprouts were as seen on the dash Board of the RS, quite a few Mark II Focus RS and STs in green and orange. Many of which have characters on their dashes to display more about their colours. And we follow the trail of coolant to a camouflage TVR. I'm actually quite enjoying doing a fast walk around, seeing what I can see in the show, all of the escorts and a hung rat on the P100. And when I say hung, I don't mean well endowed, I mean he was hanging from his neck. Hanged is what it is. There's more up here. And here is today's stunning Lord Time Beasts that I'm wearing who have sponsored this video giving you 10% off using Adam C at LordTimePieces.com.
it is quite a vast space at the British Motor Museum. There's a two-tone Peugeot with its sound system on the show. There's an A-Class providing fluttery turbo noises. And further down, I want to look at these wheels, because these are brave. They've got love hearts. You can see the love hearts in them. There they are. The pink skull theme is continued in the engine bay. Even the bat holding up the bonnet matches. The Optimus is angry about that, unsure why. There's a Z4 part in its own. There's a lot of green going on here, even on the wheels and the Astra next door. Oh, it's twin Astras, matching Astras. And more love hearts in the spokes of these wheels, just in the front though, not in the back. this very vibrant green Z4 that is slammed to the floor right on the end there. Those storm wheels looking stealthy as well as the blacked out rear lights. More revs from the A45 over there. There's an Audi with some purple brave wheels. You can't get away from my camera. Talking of purple, got the Audi TC next to a Corsa B. I mean, there's no max power show without a Corsa B. And the A45 is still displaying the more modern pops and bangs of the current scene. There we go. I'm liking the tire I see on that. Fluttery turbo. Onwards we go to the BMW in the Vauxhall with its Safari stripes. Got another Ventra. There are more focuses in the lineup at the back there. We have Fiestas here. This one with fog lights on its bonnet. Very rally inspired. Wide arches too. section for some reason. There's a Land Rover on top of it, Audi for some reason. And a first aid box hanging from the wing of the Swift for some reason. We have some clean Peugeots on the end, the 206. Oh look, that's stripped out and ready to go on track, isn't it? No rear interior, so you only have one friend. I'm liking that. The Tigra is providing some smoky revolutions. Is that supercharged? It is. <laughs> cars I missed down here. We've got the two so oh no that's no that's not a car. Uh, we've got the Bora. I'm liking the front end on that. Look how intricate that bumper is and the side skirts down here. So it's got a mascot as well. We have another Corsa with its chrome gold opal engine bay. That is clean. Oh, look at the headlights there. More that is that is immaculate. I'm really liking that. Gold badging as well. We have a few legends. Got the Sierra RS Cosworth, Mark IV Toyota Supra as well. And something else that you may remember from the Max Power era, Nitrous Oxide. This is on the back of the Golf. I'm not sure if it's actually wired up to anything. I also didn't notice this matte black Renault 5. It looks a bit lifted, quite high up, but immaculate as well. It's got the full golden roll cage inside, matching the twin yellow headlights. Got the carbon mirrors as well. No rear seats, just the fuel tank there. That is crazy. There are even more Renault 5s on show in a lineup, the three of them down from another Escort and a 300 ZX of course this year is the return of this car we're seeing them everywhere purple 350z that is clean the t-top as well finished in like a midnight dark purple we have the harlequin lupo there's a mustang sheriff car next to an r34 with stripes we have this r32 looking pretty next to the new asx and the tt on bentley wheels as well Six exhausts, there's three on each side if you can count. That is a unique setup, his parking leaves something to be desired. Next door to a Series 2 Exige. Further up we have this Yaris, which I'm actually really liking in green. Green is quite a popular colour. We've got a Peugeot with doors that open the wrong way. Suicide doors on the 306. Take a look at that, chrome wheels once again. Loads of colours on show, no door handles as a result of this mod. The interior is brown, very brown. These are all most of the proper Max Power cars of the show. We have leather on this Saxo. This is a leather bodywork. You may remember this from the Aero, a Nos Bottle inside. We've got these speaker systems too. This Fiesta is phenomenal as well, in green once again. And we have this Corsa, which is mid-build. This was a standard car. They've done all of this this weekend. There is another Corsa, a very electrifying Corsa further down. We've got another Peugeot 206, looks liquid yellow. Thank you. 
further around, I think this is the first Nova we've seen. That is crazy. So many of the cars have the same style bonnet on them today. Or maybe this style as well. Oh, look who it is. He's on a bonnet now. That is a clear without any rear lights. I think they may be lights. But I told you it was only going to be a short run around of the show. A shame I couldn't film much of the cars due to the music, but that was part of the scene as well. All the sound system. We've got DJ Richie Don playing all of the garage tunes from that era as well. You can still hear it in the background, but I really have to go. So that was this year's Max Power reunion. Let's see what happens next year. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Go follow me on all my social channels for the updates and highlights about these things I go to. But for now, thanks for watching. Oh dear, someone's having a scorcher. Here comes a fire engine. I don't think it's a car. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a fire. No, 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 get into that lane. Fire. Oh my god, it's a big fire. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, do get away from that. It's just, it's not even a car. Oh my god. Oh no, there was a, maybe there was a car. Oh my god. Let me, it's a, oh no, it's someone's oh. tire. Yeah, the blowouts. Oh my god. That, that's a tire that's. Oh my god. How, how they managed, the wheels come off.